Uh oh. You idiot. It was a little gray. I'll admit it was a little gray. I'll admit it was gray. I I I, I will admit a little sus. <laughs> nice job. <laughs> so However, a little... you, did, you did save her life, so I'll let that one pass. Exactly. He walked away. I, I I give and take, right? Well, he walks away after he says that. All right, that's fine. All right. It's you and Magnolia at this bar. It's food before you. I would hate to have a god mad at me. Well, he's not mad at me. He's just a little disappointed. All right. Trust me, I'm, I'm used to disappointing disappointing people by now. Well, he's not disappointing really disappointed. He just... Well, I mean, he's not really disappointed because he did save her. He's just saying. He kind of weird. weird. <laughs> yeah, you a little weird. A little fucking weird me out there. It wasn't your fault, I know, but I don't, don't want to see you do that shit, okay? Like, don't do it again. Don't do that. Don't, don't do that shit, man. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> We're walking around like walking. My, my name's on your goddamn book you're carrying there, man. Come on. Well, actually, there's no name on the book because the language can't be written by any mortal alive. Oh shit! Uh, you would maybe so he's, maybe he's a little tipsy. You would have factored that in. that from him. You forgot that language is dead. <laughs> but anyways, I'm a, I'm a roll perception and look, 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 see, see any uh, in the interesting individuals around me. I got 24. There is a guy with a clockwork arm. Clock, what is so instead of having a prostate arm, he has a clockwork and he has a pack for of the steam that supplies his arm and allows it to move. Oh, that's but where really is cool. this guy? He's across the room. He's a sword juggler. A what? A sword juggler. Like he actually takes full length like great swords and juggles them. Oh, no, I, I I meant like that's what really species? Cool. Oh, he is an elf. He's a high elf. I walked out. I walk up to him. I'm like, "That fucking arm. What is that? That's cool as fuck." Uh, I lost my other arm and spent uh, my whole life trying to devise something to replace it. This is suitable. It's just a prototype. My main one I use is more like this. And he pulls out one that is actually more refined than it, and doesn't need the steam pack. Instead, it needs a capsule. To supply um magical energy in it. However, as he says, uh, sometimes the motors in the hands don't work on that one. I have to work that problem out. He starts scratching his uh, chin. Sounds terrible. That sounds fucking genius. All things considered. So you said you're prototyping this, right? Uh, you. Looking for scientific funding, per se? He laughs. <laughs> I don't think you know who I am! I, I'm gonna be ass. No, I don't. No offense. No, we don't. I am Sir Alexander Lethurium. The greatest scientist in all the kingdom. I have wealth you couldn't even dream of. Oh, oh okay. so you're rich money bags, aren't you? So, so hypothetically speaking, um, if I was interested in this kind of technology and hypothetically I lost my hand the same, what would the price of it be to like, you know, have one of those strapped on to me? Well, it depends. You, would, you, <laughs> would you prefer the pack or would you prefer the one I'm currently working on? Um... Whichever one's cooler. What, what, what do you think would, would be more aesthetically cool looking? I would probably prefer the one without the pack because as I've used it for quite some time as the first prototype, you know, uh, it gets a little annoying. It wears on your back and then you can't use it when you go to bed. And then you have that metal arm that you can't really move when you first wake up and it's dead weight. So uh. I would prefer the capsule. However, that will only run you roughly like 150 gold. And then the capsules would be three gold apiece. Only 150 gold? Holy shit! Wh that sounds wow. impressive. It's fucking amazing, dude. That, 
Take note, U.S. with Joe Biden. Where's my Where's my capsule arms? <laughs> Thanks, Obamacare. Obamacare. Thanks a lot. Yeah, exactly. But we cannot have these people out here with big metal arms. <laughs> no. yeah, well, let me get like a good example of it. It's funny. Um, it's funny. I, I make that joke, but I feel like that stuff's already like in development right now. <laughs> But, uh... Oh... Uh, so... What, Aiden, got... have you seen Ash and the Evil Dead? Yeah, I've seen Ash. Ash. Yeah, I play DVD. Uh, yeah, you know Army of Darkness, right? Yeah, yep. imagine his Melam. That's what the closest yeah. example I can find. Let me get a good look at it, because I, I, am, I am aware of Ash, the concept. Look up Army of Darkness. That's where the first iteration of it is. He's going. He's trying to go full silver hand on us. I'm, try, I'm trying to go full. Yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm he gonna cut his own arm almost. off for this shit, man. I'm not gonna cut it off. I just wanna. I just wanna keep this guy in kind. Of, I, I want to set up a, a means that this character can can interact with that character. If, oh, you so know, you're hoping you get your arm cut off later? I'm saying if it does, I have a backup plan. I'm a cautious guy. It, it's it's too convenient. It's too convenient. No, fuck you, it's not too convenient. <laughs> what, networking is too convenient? There you go, Aiden. That's what it would look like. Ooh. Oh, that's that so cat. weird. I'm like, I'm like, I listen. I don't know what it is, but something, something tells me, something tells me I might need your services one day. Uh, is there a way that I can reach you? Oh my god. Well, I mean... I am Sir Alexander Lethirium. I have a massive, massive straight castle outside the city walls. Just go there. Uh, uh, wait, outside of what city? I'm outside the citadel. Really? You walk outside there. There's a massive castle. Have you never noticed it? No. Giant. It's like almost on rivals the citadel. And wait, what was the guy? What was this guy's title? His name is Sir. He's actually a knight. Oh, Alexander wow. Lethirium. Okay. All right. I, I wrote this down. This location. At some point. At some point. If, if when, when the need arrives and my fucking arm gets chopped off, yeah, I'm gonna bastard. pay this guy like I'm gonna fucking get some custom built shit, man. Once I get rich enough. A Which, a I me? <laughs> Fuck you! You're planning oh, my your, goddamn character. You're planning your are you I'm you're planning, planning on character getting arm development. Sue me. <laughs> right. My bad, JJ Abrams. I didn't realize that was a bad thing. Oh. <laughs> All right, shh, um, shh. As he says, he's like, uh, and the price is pretty low. It's rather affordable. I'm not really in it for the money. I'm more in it to help people like me who lost their right arm. The war, we lose a lot of things. Sometimes we even lose ourselves. Yeah, I'm it. sure, no offense to you if this is stereotyping by your race, but I'm sure you've seen a, too much war already. I've, uh... You say, you might say I could, yeah. Got away from it pretty quickly, all things considered, but... Shit, uh, shit didn't appeal to me too much. Exactly. That's why instead of after I lost my arm, I did, and I was knighted before this, uh, I decided to devote all my time to better helping people. Mm. Makes sense. So while uh, I'll keep you, I'll keep you in mind. I'll keep you. In mind. you, you you'll be hearing from me some point or another. Well, are you planning to lose a body part? Hey, I don't think any plans to lose one, do they? I mean, people who cut off their own arms do. I suppose, but I don't think those people are in big supply, are they? Ah. Mob tends to keep me supplied with people like that. Hey. Guess so. But uh, I guess I'll see you around. Yeah, you will. He starts drinking again. Right, oh, he's already. No, he's already performed though, Aiden. Okay. What? What is it? Oh, yeah. He was. He was juggling swords, wasn't he? Yeah. 
Okay, so who, who else is around? This is the Triton from earlier. There's a group of Warforged. I'm yes leaving for the corner. I they're doing their thing. We're on neutral grounds. <laughs> I'm I I have been I've been convinced that this is neutral, peaceful grounds. Uh, the war, one of the Warforged actually approached you, though, Aiden. Like, hey, what's up? Hey, um, uh, we tried to approach you before, in the bar, and then you summoned some kind of golem creatures to attack us? Oh, yeah, maybe. What, why, were you the, were you a bunch of hooded figures? Yes, we were. Yeah, you might tell me what was up with that, because to be honest, I kind of assumed you were trying to murder us, or, or kidnap us, or whatever. I, I assumed you did not have good intentions. Well, we're here to invite you at the Lich's request to the city. Oh, boy. Oh, really? Okay, that... Yeah, that's Our my bad. bad, then, to be honest, so... Definitely I'm his gonna bad. Be, I'm, I don't mean the profile, I'm not trying to be a dick or anything, but, um... You see, the last city, we, like actually two cities ago, pretty much, we had a bunch of bad run-ins with a, a kind of a Warforged faction, and to be honest, we kind of thought you might, you know, have been them, because, you know, they, they, they were pretty much entirely Warforged. Again, got nothing against, but for the most part, got nothing against Warforged. I just know that if you guys wanted to, you could beat me to a fucking pulp. And, you know, I have run into some people that have tried. <laughs> Not by trying you mean pushing you on the ground like trying to steal. So they did the turtle too, but that's not it. <laughs> Jokes aside, they fucking tortured him. <laughs> they put his ass in like calculator Guantanamo Bay. <laughs> you will solve this math equation, but I'll why we'll beat the shit out of you yourself. So that's what they should have done to me. <laughs> Be like, hey Phil, what's fifty six times five hundred and ninety three? Uh <laughs> One second, I'm loading. Uh. <laughs> um. Well, then, we would like to say she was rather right to invite you to the city. Yeah, so far, Dan, has been very nice. Very, very, very nice people. Um, very good people. A lot less people trying to murder me. Um, no, we, we very, mainly, she wanted to send you here because... Uh, she won't admit it, but it was because you and your small one's friends and your other friend over there is a race. Uh, how so? Well, I mean, for one, you're kind of treated as lesser class citizens up there. Your one friend can't even go into half the establishments up there. And your other friend is to be killed on sight above. Right? Exactly. Yeah. I'm hated for no reason. Well, I mean... Because you, because you are a possible threat. Because they don't, they don't know your motives. If you had, if you had the, if if you had the means to, you could fucking take a lot of people down with you. And I don't uh, feel like it. If you were to attack, I don't know. Feel like I know, but they don't know you don't feel yeah, like they it. They don't know you don't feel like it. I personally <laughs> speaking, it's I'd be like a little a, uh, Tasha, it's like a dude who rolls up with a tank. You perceive them as a threat because they got a fucking tank. Or like Killdozer. <laughs> Killdozer, in hindsight, yeah, he wasn't that bad. He wasn't aiming for people. If I was out in the street and I saw that guy with a fucking bulldozer in, in tank form, I'd probably hit the deck. I'd probably run. I'd be like, <laughs> you should probably stop this. <laughs> yeah, you perceive it as a threat. Well, like if a guy walks into Walmart with a gun, and uh, you think he's just going to show up to show up with a gun? No, you're going to perceive him as a threat, Natasha. <laughs> you just got, what if I thought he was just making a return? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's like, this gun doesn't work. He's like, I, that guy has his receipt or we're all fucking dead. <laughs> <laughs> all right, but anyway, Aiden, what do you say? I'm like, uh, yeah, no, that makes sense. Seems like she's trying to make a, uh, a melting pot of sort down here, which is pretty rad. I like it. Um, has he- the hand he actually touched you with is severely badly damaged, though. Was, uh, was that from us? Yes, it was. That is my also, bad. Also, Aiden, they are one member short from before. That's a mega my bad. Um... <laughs> no, yeah. it's fine. She'll, she'll probably set things right. She'll- 
She's got a new body for the other one, and she'll repair us like she usually does. Okay, that's that was that was my best. I, I was really hoping. No offense, I, I mean this in the best way possible. I was hoping it was a war forge, so that way you know she could survive it. I was, I, I, you know, I figured you guys, all things considered, go up better against a golem as opposed, you know, a tabaxi like me. We get squished pretty easily. I mean, if you get squished, the witch will probably just give you a robot body. Yeah, but like, no offense, but I heard you guys don't got. You know, and I, 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 I like gesture down to my crotch. What legs? No, like they, they're the second guy. They're like I, I don't think you guys know what sex is. I, I, mean, mean, I mean, when I died, I was only a twelve-year-old child. Okay, uh, DNI, no minors. Uh, please get off my Twitter account. Thank you very much. <laughs> like, this just got very weird. <laughs> Damn, well, have, yeah. I, have, I re have I really become the Michael Jackson of this world? I put out a really <laughs> fucking good song, and I possibly have awkward inter interactions with a child. Oh, I love the children. I if, if, for the children. Oh, if no! Me, my hotel room. If, if you love me, you sleep in the bed, Warforged, okay? <laughs> well, have you guys ever seen that robot chicken sketch? He's like, I love the children. That's why oh. I built this giant statue of me. It's a, new, it's a new statue. It's like a statue of David. No, it's a, it's a statue, and it's the big boy diner. He starts molesting the big boy statue. He's like, mm, I love the children. <laughs> uh, that's a funny joke. But, um, no, go on, Aiden. What do you say? Um, I'm like, yeah, that's... uh, never. Yeah, I'm going to be honest... I don't know where to take this conversation that isn't weird now, but, uh... <laughs> Damn, so, wait, wait. So how, how old are, are you Are you now that you're a Warforged, though? 375. 375, okay, never mind. All right. Wait, no, he... Okay, you probably know what sex is, but, you know, he wouldn't have been doing it much. He, he never knew sex. Which, I, I don't know, it's not, it's not a terrible fate, I guess. All, all right, so now that I know I'm not going to get canceled... I guess yeah, we're fine then. <laughs> you've you've seen the horrors of war, obviously now. So I guess the water crossed the line. Innocence has been destroyed. I mean, it's that instead of my like Kevin Spacey, it's two giant columns that beat the fuck out of you and your friends. <laughs> it's terrible. Uh, it's like Galaxy Quest. <laughs> oh, that is. That's an old movie. Um, but the Warforged Tap uh, is says he's like. Yeah, you know, some of us are actually remnants from the last Arabian War. What war? The Arabron War. We came here on ships. Who's fighting who? At some point, sides became muddled and it just became two mages who kept turning the uh, souls of Warforge and the. Uh, uh, souls of people in the Warforge and throwing them at each other to see who could win. Holy shit. That's fucking crazy. Are those two mages dead? No. The what? what oh, damn. There's, are they still. Wait. So are they as powerful as they used to be? They still are. The war is still going on. The war is still. Wait, what? Really? Wait, what do you mean? The, wait, oh, so it was like, it was the first year of it is what you're talking about? Like, remnants of the first year of the war? No. The war has been going on for a couple hundred years. Oh, well. That's fucking nuts. That's, that's, that's odd. That's, uh, that, yeah, that's, that's some crazy shit. It's uh, way, way beyond any of the conflicts I'm familiar with. An actual hundred year war, Aiden. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I, mean, I should. I guess most people, period, don't have like a frame of reference <laughs> almost even for that. My Silverhands, the little closer he came to it was like just constant skirmishes and shit. As, yeah, as, no, Aiden, this would be full on battles constantly, just throwing bodies at it eventually. That's like it's to like a uh, point essentially, Aiden, where they literally just start taking souls from people and throwing robot bodies at them. It's like uh, it's like a comparison, almost like a I don't know if you know no New Vegas lore, but Caesar 
I mean, you described the, the tribes always kind of conflicting with each other. They were, they were playing war. He taught them total war. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Uh, oh, fuck. Well, uh, his arm actually starts uh, breaking and falling off, so. Hey, is that going to cost you anything to get repaired? Because if so, I, I will straight up pay you right now for that because I do feel bad. That's pretty fucked up. Um, no, no, he like puts it back into place. You can tell this has happened multiple times since the incident. And he's Whoa. like, going in. You, 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 you go on, you uh, go on. He's like, well, don't tell anyone this, but the lich, she's kind of a big softy. Oh, so she'll get you a hand. No, she'll probably give me a whole new body. My he takes off the hood. His whole like metallic body is pretty destroyed. Oh shit! Well, I'm glad you're gonna get a new body because again, yeah, that's that's fucked up. Jeez. I'll, I'll tell you, I have a really bad track record when it comes to like <laughs> di diagnosing front from enemy. Because almost any time we've encountered an actual enemy, I feel like we fucking walk in and get ambushed. But anyone that actually approaches me and I'm like, ah, oh, he's friendly, I've shot on sight. <laughs> yeah, he's like, got the shotgun, and he's like, oh, these guys seem nice. He's like, yeah. those guys suck. And he shoots the next guy immediately. Fucking he can't my Uber, he's driver. He's carrying a bag, I didn't know if it had a payload in it. <laughs> I didn't know if he cared, was holding a weapon or not. I, I, I was just down. handing you your pizza. Ugh. Thought it was a big throwing disc. I'm sorry. <laughs> Meanwhile, the guy that actually stabbed is like, "Aha, nerd!" He's chilling in the back, the back room. <laughs> All right. Um. Well, anyway, we wanted to say we, we liked your music. Hey, I appreciate it, man. Always great to meet a fan. They hand you 50 gold each. Whoa, whoa, why? No, I, I can't accept this. <laughs> they walk away. Oh, how much gold did they give me total? So, it would be uh, roughly 250 gold. Oh my god, this is fucking amazing. I, for the record, just so everyone knows, I'm not a corporate shell. I don't do this for the money, but <laughs> it feels nice to be appreciated. It does feel nice. Yeah, especially by people who can't hold grudges against you because technically they don't have that many emotions. Yeah. <laughs> like, we don't have the emotional attention span, man. Like, <laughs> we have emotional maturity to, like, be mad at you for too long. <laughs> well, no, they technically can't be mad at you. They don't feel feelings of rage anymore. Wow. They just kind of exist, David. That's fucking a scary existence. Exactly. You can take that as a starting race too. I know, I know. That's that's an interesting it's an interesting concept, but I don't know if I I don't know if I could if I personally how I like my mannerisms, I'm not sure if I could make that work. Well no, I mean you can manipulate it to work like that. It's just when they refer most early on Warforges are somber like that. However they get uh, I'm um, sorry, the later ones. However, in the early stages, they were erratic and they still had their personality. So you can go off that. Oh, okay. Okay, I dig it, I dig it. Alright, so what do you and Natasha do? Um. Fuck it, let's. So yeah, let's. I don't, let, 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 sorry, what, what else is, is kind of around? How many people are still uh, performing? There's only two more left. Let's go watch the last two. Do you watch one from Natasha? Yeah, go ahead. Right, so last one is actually um a druid. And he plants the ground on the bones and he starts turning the um bone matter into actually a tree and makes a giant forest. Okay, that's pretty neat. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Crushes it down, makes little animals. Uh, I've been crushing bone for the past like two weeks, and nobody's applauded me. If anything, it just made me a criminal. <laughs> <laughs> um, last one, he does. 
your typical magic trick. It's a kid. He's just kind of there to participate. Um, the fire after the after he leaves, the fire reappears. Giant smoke cloud is. The witch laughs in her most boastful voice, and she's like, Well done, citizens. You have impressed me most, indeed. Some more than others. However, our judges here deem that the two duos played the song are the winners this year. Oh, Would wow. they like to step forward? I also thought I'd be like, the other guy, I, I I don't know where he went. I think he might have passed out somewhere. Please, if you find him, let us know. <laughs> He's on another bender. <laughs> like a kid at Walmart. Help, I can't find my child. <laughs> yes. This is, this is a statement. If anyone can please direct him our way. He's unsupervised. <laughs> uh, she hands you in her lich form with her skull and everything. Oh, uh, she hands you Excalibur. Can we... <laughs> Excalibur's actually short sword. What was that? Excalibur's actually a short sword. Short sword, oh. Ne oh. oh, yes! This is so fucking perfect! <laughs> oh, that was the best thing. I'm gonna keep messaging Excalibur. Right, writing down all this shit I got to. I have so many fucking swords, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need to talk to that guy. Just install five more, like, <laughs> you fucking things. Five more arms onto me. Or you gonna be like Zoro from One Piece and just be able three like swords? I don't think he could do that. Over we'll, we'll isolating with them. So me right now on on stage. <laughs> I'm on the right. <laughs> <laughs> that was a funny joke. <laughs> you know, and my other DV campaign, I have like 20 scimitars because I just keep moving them. Yeah, you I can use them as throwing. Them. You can use them as throwing weapons, Aiden. I think God's never thrown any of them. Me flinging around my sword. I I don't like throwing shit. I I go for house. If you throw that shit, it's gonna break. All right. Then, well, the witch walks. The witch walks with you. Off the stage. Uh, the crowd starts dispersing when the festivities are over. However, they don't go back up. They actually go deeper down. I'm like, so where are they going? Ah, to the after party. We have a nice festival. Some clowns, some parlor tricks, some games you could win and play. Oh, my God. This place is amazing. I love it. It's, it's like a Dave and Buster's, but you can live here. It's amazing. <laughs> Like a Dave and Buster. <laughs> <laughs> like it's like Epcot Center was made by David Buster. Like if David Buster were instead of you know making arcades, they were uh, fucking warlords who made their own nation state. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's all they like, take you back. Uh, she takes you down, and it's like your typical festival, carnival. It's like Aiden. It's like Apple Fest essentially. Uh, what the fuck is that? Oh, essentially, it's a, it's a new Boston thing. You wouldn't understand it. Oh. Yeah, but you mean it's like, a, like Oktoberfest? <laughs> yeah, like it's Oktoberfest. Yeah, it's the okay. same oh, thing. Okay. That, that's, that's what I figured. That's what I figured. I, for some reason, yeah, I thought it was so a new... We have so many festivals like that for around that time in different counties. It's not I, even funny. I don't know if it was like an occult rich, oh no, an occult <laughs> festival or something, but I don't think New Jersey does that. I think they're too angry for, for Satan <laughs> nowadays. Uh, well, <laughs> anyway, it's a massive festival, Natasha. Okay. You can do anything when you guys do. Um, Lich is currently with you in her normal uh, humanoid form. The Lich? Oh, cool. I, I ask him, like, so, uh, what's your favorite part of all this? My personal favorite? Yeah. Watching mortals suffer and their souls slowly break down. Uh. Okay, bit, bit of a downer no. on that one. Bit of a downer. Um, so I am the second... witch, after all. You can't what's your second favorite part of all this? Watching people smile. Nice, that's pretty good. 
Is there any, is there any events you think we should visit while we're here? Well, any maybe in particular? Like, well, not if you really look like the strong kind. How you, you could try your skills at the archery contest. I be down. Let's do that. She leads you to the archery stand. You have to hit a target 350 uh, feet away. Have fun. Okay, is this... Do I just... Do, do they... Do they... Do I use a mode on my bows? They hand you a bow. Okay. So... It's, what a, it's, I, just a, it's a normal bow. Okay, it's normal dexterity? Check. Yep. yep normal dexterity. Alright. Fifteen. Too wide. <laughs> you know, you another... Um, they hand you two more arrows. Two, two more, more tries, more. and then you have to pay. Okay. Uh... That was fucking terrible. It was a sex. I just fucked that one up. <laughs> it immediately hits in the ground. Ten feet in front of you. It hits one of the, the other contestants. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, you didn't roll bad enough. It was a one. I'd say you hit another contestant. Sixteen. <laughs> Ah, oh, you managed to hit the target, but only on the right side. Okay, how much for another try? Two go. Uh, actually, no, two copper pieces. Two okay, copper. Wow, jeez, it's cheap. Two copper. All right, another try. No, three tries. You get three arrows. Another per three? Try. Oh man! Then you get three arrows per try. Oh my god, three! <laughs> It's a copper piece per arrow. Technically, eight in a bundle of arrows is one gold piece or 50 silver pieces. Damn. Wait, how much is a bundle? Like 15 to 20 arrows. 15 to 20. Wow, that's, this is a really good, this is a really big steal. So I, I get a 20 now. Yeah, a natural try or a natural? Unnatural. 20 total. You managed to hit the center of the target. Yes! Woo! Is that your first arrow or was that your third arrow? That was my... Oh, wait one second. Let me... How many was this? Because I want... Okay, so... So, one, two... Th that was my fourth... Wait, no, fifth arrow. That was my fifth arrow. So that was... Out of the new button, that was my second arrow. All right. So you got one more. You can double down, Aiden. Double down? Fuck yeah. I completely fucked that one up. Nine. <laughs> You got, you looked really impressive, and then you just, the, the pressure got to you, and you missed. I fucked up that time. Like, ah, damn it. All right, well, well I got, I got they give one you the, in there. They, they give you the pot, which is ten gold. Ten gold? Oh, nice. How, how nice. Dude, I am, I'm making bank today. Holy shit. I am. I mean, anyone awesome. can try this game, Aiden. Magnolia, would you like to try this game? Uh, actually, can we put a pin in here? That's sure. Right. We can put a pen in here. I if, you, if, you, if you're tired. I am yawning way too much at my computer. Alright, I'm, I'm fine to dissipate. Uh, are we doing next week or... Because Sunday's always a maybe. What's what's up with that? Oh, oh Sunday's yeah. completely on. I'm off Is it? Monday. Yeah, I'm off Monday because if you don't know, 4th of July is Sunday, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. If you don't know, on a business calendar, the day after... Fourth of July is observed as count as a holiday in DC. Oh, oh wow, that's really yeah. cool. Dude, so you give me so many reasons to move to DC. Well, I no, guess. I live in DC. I work in there for Maryland, but uh, yeah, no. So our company I'll doesn't drive. work. Yeah, our company doesn't work because Fourth of July in DC is observed. So oh. and they have a big festival. Uh, nice. It's not nice. Because it took me an extra two and a half hours to get to work because there's a fucking massive, uh, <laughs> massive traffic and a five car pileup because <laughs> someone can't fucking drive. Oh That's man, it. never want to drive anywhere else. What are you talking about? Just never drive to DC. Everywhere else is okay. Yeah, well, I mean, don't don't go to Iowa. No, where I no, don't either. don't drive. Don't. Don't even go to Houston or Dallas down here in Texas. It's awful. What are you talking about? They're open roads. Yeah, but they're big, and it's always crowded. The freeways so, are a mess. Natasha, I've been in traffic for like an hour and a half. He was born in the traffic. 
He didn't know going to speed limit until he was just a man. I, and it really I was in, I was in traffic for three hours just coming back from Oklahoma to to where I live. Yeah, it's three not hours. Oklahoma to Texas is three hours. I feel like that is the bad average of distance. Yeah, no, that's that's like that. <laughs> I drove from Seattle to Y Wisconsin. It took me five it is, hours. It is like only an hour from where I live to D an hour and like twenty minutes to DC. It and takes me to get home almost two and a half hours. Because you got all that five o'clock traffic. But anyways, I'm gonna dip out though. Y'all have a good one. Good session. Good talk. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, by the way, everything down there was optional. Oh, I we're bust, we're bust out those side quests one by one, baby. I just find it funny. It was like panicking. That's all we're encroaching on. <laughs> I was. I. It's personal space, man. <laughs> <laughs> anything, anything other than oh, anything oh, other than these in group around you and push you to the ground. Yeah. <laughs> the only people that can do that are goblins, orcs, or kobolds, and they. I don't think this dog would get really push you to the ground, and I really hate to say. Let them any day. Don't worry. 